What I hate about Sweden. Oh my. I can see the comment section now. How dare you say anything bad about Sweden? Sweden's the greatest country in the world. All you should leave. No one's going to click on a video to say things I strongly dislike. I've been here for six years, so I compiled a list of things I hate about Sweden, and I put them together. I came up with seven, so now this is seven things I hate about Sweden in no particular order. Number one, excuse me. What I mean by this is in Sweden, yes, you can say ushekta, and we use it. But in a lot of situations, it's not very common to just say excuse me. Uh, so I find myself and other people in Sweden where we're kind of... <laughs> just kind of moving around people and sometimes just bumping into each other, especially at the grocery store. I used to say, excuse me, if you ever want to freak anyone out in Sweden, say excuse me in English in that same situation. Ooh, that was my first like six months here. But yes, sometimes I say ushekta, but it's just not something that I've noticed that is common as it is in English speaking countries to so just say excuse me. And I just feel like it adds a level of awkwardness that we don't need. So I just always kind of feel like we're bumping into each other and we're just kind of moving around in that way. And I think we could go about it in a better way. So yes, I think we should have excuse me. Number two, I'm not the biggest fan of construction in Sweden. What I mean by this is when the weather is nice, there's the double edged sword, which means there's tons of traffic. And it just feels like when the construction's going on, there's like no regard for giving out information or letting people know that roads are blocked off. I've had a couple bad situations with this. Once it took me like 30 minutes to go to the grocery store because just one day everything was blocked off. And just the other day, actually, at 6 o'clock, there was a roundabout in Lingshi being being paved, uh, and I was on the bus reading my book, and we waited for like 25 minutes. Why are you paving this roundabout right around rush hour? It doesn't make any sense. So I think they could go about it in a better way. No offense to anyone out there that works in construction. I just, I think that's just been my experience. Number three, bags on the seat. Now, I don't mind it so much when it's not busy. It's very common to put your bags. I have a bag, I go to work, I do it too. But I've seen it way too many times when it's busy on the train where in Sweden, sometimes you don't want to talk to strangers so much and it's like, people have their bag next to them and it's like a full train and I've seen people stand on the train because people don't want to move their bag. Just move your bag. Uh, people shouldn't have to come to you first and ask if they can sit there. You don't own both seats. Go ahead and move the bag. Now I've seen plenty of people be nice and be friendly at the same time, but it's just something that I think we could do a little bit better that I just kind of find to be annoying. So move the bag on the seat, boom. Number four, everybody has to agree all the time about everything. And what I mean by that is it just feels like in, the, in discussions in general, it's very important for people to agree. Uh, conflict is not something that is very much enjoyed in Sweden, although maybe in the recent election it was a little bit more there's conflict. But it's, it makes me wonder sometimes like how, how things get done because there's so many things that need to be discussed. If you ever want to cause chaos uh, in, in a discussion, just raise your hand and say, I, I disagree. Number five, I really feel like it's kind of hard to start your own business in Sweden, maybe due to the tax rate. And I just don't understand certain things about like apartment companies and, and bank companies. To me, they have like way too much power, especially bank companies in Sweden. But when you get into it with like an apartment, I'll give you an example. If you have an apartment that you put money down, you don't own the whole entire apartment yet, but you, you're, you make enough money to put down on that apartment, you can only rent that apartment out for a year. Like, uh, my girlfriend's moving in with me and she can only rent out her apartment for a year and then after that she has to sell her apartment. And to me that doesn't make any sense. If you've made it, if you've saved enough and made enough money, you've saved enough money to put down an initial investment on an apartment, why can't you have two if the bank is going to loan that to you? Why is it that a big apartment company has the ability to take money out from loans from banks and do the exact same thing, but a, a simple person can't do that. So that's one thing I don't understand. There's a lot of things with apartment companies I don't understand as far as that goes. So Sweden's a great country. You get taken care of. You have a lot of health benefits, benefits just being here in general. But sometimes if you're a little guy trying to start out, not that easy. And you can look at it, for example, when you look at very, very wealthy people that have started businesses, they usually kind of move outside of Sweden. That one with the real estate just kind of really bugs me and gets my nerves in. Well, I hate it. Number six has to be shipping in Sweden. And I'm sorry, I always feel like I'm being mean to shipping companies in Sweden, but I also just got another love letter, I like to call them, from my, you know, the people I, I love very much that are the Nords of Posts. Uh, and I have a, I like to call them a ransom letter that says, hey, I ordered something from China. 
and um, I have a week or two to give them 75 crowns because that's a fair amount of money to give them because they're losing money on shipping for my item to get here. And coming from America, you get spoiled with Amazon and just the convenience of ordering stuff and it showing up to your door. And this just drives me nuts. Why, why is it that we in America have drones dropping packages off of people's homes? And the answer here is let's make people pay 75 crowns and then wait like a couple days. So you're delaying my package and making me pay a fee. Why don't you talk to companies like eBay or other shipping companies? Put that price in if that's what it is. Put the fair price in so I can see it. But don't delay my order and then send me this ransom note. It's a waste of paper, number one. And you're saying it costs a lot of money to ship it, but you have no problem sending me a paper to tell me that I have to pay. How is that not a waste of money also? So I just, I don't get that one. I think it could be better. Sorry, guys, but it's just the truth. Number seven is also kind of hard because you don't realize it unless you live in maybe America and see it and it's not the end of the world but I just don't think that customer service is the same and usually I speak about restaurants don't want to offend anyone that works at restaurants it's just the way things are handled are different and I always hear people that are from Sweden they don't see the difference but to me someone that's worked in restaurants it just makes sense there's a certain rhythm of how uh, it should be at a restaurant for example you should sit down you get your drink order then the, the waiter or waitress comes back they get your food order then you get your food, and then they come back shortly after to ask if you need anything else, and then they go, they come back after that, and then they ask if you need another drink or something, and they can give you the bill. And there are so many times here in Sweden where either I've waited like forever for my food, and I know I'm not the most important guy in the world, it's just something I'm pointing out. I waited like forever for my food, or it takes me forever at the end of the day to pay. I would like to pay and leave whenever I want to leave. I don't want to wait and just wait and then wait. So I've had I've had both of those situations and I just it, it just drives me nuts. I don't know why it just it just does. So and I know it's, it's these are all cultural difference things, but I just feel like it it costs a lot of money or more money than it would in the states for food and stuff. And I just want that rhythm. I think there's a certain rhythm that comes with that. It could be that less people work in those stores due to the tax rate and things like that. So I'm not the biggest fan of customer service. That being said, though, I've also had pleasant experiences with customer service in Sweden where people have helped me right away. I do feel like people go out of their way uh, to help you when they can. Uh, but there's been a few times where I've called customer service and I feel like people don't know the answer to a question and they just refer me to someone else and someone else and, and it just goes into this whole circle and then I don't get an answer and I'm like, what's going on here? So, But anyways, those are the seven. Now I gotta say this, Sweden, I love you. Like, mwah. I've been here six years. I care about you. I'm happy to live here. The things that annoy me aren't enough for me to want to leave, but I just wanted to point them out because I'm very curious if you guys ever feel the same, um, if you can relate to any of these things that I feel in general. Um, I felt quite brave doing this one, <laughs> which might sound silly, but like I have been talking about things in other videos that I don't like about the United States that could be better, and so I got to point out these ones about Sweden as well and be honest. So. Hopefully I don't get like 100 subscribers leaving tomorrow, but I guess if it happens, I'm going to be myself and be honest with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. Um, if you're new to the channel, would love to have you subscribe. What did I miss? Well, I'm going to ask you, what, what is the number one thing you hate about Sweden? Especially if you are Swedish, what, what is it that you don't like? And realize that, yes, it's a great country. I love being here. Everybody's great. Uh, this is all just for good fun. I've been wanting to do this one forever, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.